What up, Dope Hunters? Now that the Part 2 banners have officially released on Global, it is time to look beyond Part 2 and say hello to Part 3. In this video, we're going to be discussing when Part 3 is set to drop on Global, and we're going to do a brief overview of the entirety of Part 3, because there's still a lot of hype left over, and it's primarily surrounding the five-year anniversary LR EZAs. If you guys were around for this, or perhaps you were able to pull the LR Gogeta and the LR Vegito, then there is a lot more hype coming up during Part 3. And if you guys have seen some of my videos recently on the blue Kaioken Goku EZA, imagine that level of excitement, but times two, because now we're going to be getting two more units that are just as broken, if not more so, that are on the anniversary scale. So they are going to be really, really, really good. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with when will part three begin? So brief overview, looking back at the dates for part one and two. Part one on global started on July 6th, went until the 17th. Part 2 went from the 17th and should have gone roughly 12 days. This went a little bit further than that, or it's going to. And the reason why I can confidently say that it's going to go until July 30th is for the reasons that I will share in a moment. But Part 1 lasted about 12 to 13 days. Not exactly a precise count. Like, I say 12, but, you know, sometimes there might be a half of an extra day coming in in order to account for, like, logins and, you know, certain dates like that. But essentially, counting a 36-day celebration into three parts making them 12 12 12 is a safe bet to sort of guesstimate when celebrations will be moving forward so part one was roughly 12 to 13 days part two will likely be the same and then part three should be the same like that now why am i looking at july 30th here as the end date for part two and the start for part three well we've got a few reasons for that number one the 12 12 12 spread as i said the 29th 30th 31st is roughly that window that you want to be looking at depending on your time zone as to when the part three celebration will begin but there are a few key things that we've been getting throughout the celebration that further corroborates this number one this fiasco right here you guys might recall the countdown celebration nonsense with the growth pad stuff so for the last month and a half we have been looking at a baba shop with a whole bunch of items in there that you just can't buy because you don't have enough of those growth badges and now assuming you've all spent all 60 growth badges that you could possibly earn the baba shop is still there with a bunch of stones that most of you probably can't even purchase must have been very frustrating to look at it i know i hated it but that stupid baba shop update is going to be coming to an end very very soon in fact it was around for gosh two months jeez so starting june 4th until the 20th the first inventory update was available part two inventory update went from the 20th until the 2nd of july and now part three is going from the 2nd of july until the 30th of july at 4 59 p.m pdt that is one minute before reset so for some of you this may not matter too much in terms of specific timing but the reason why this is important is because this lines up with a lot of other different things take for example the sns social media campaign we have three parts for this during each part if you can share on social media once or at least pretend that you do you will earn three dragon stones each time if you do this a total of three times you will earn nine stones Part one lasted from the 6th of July until the 17th of July. Oh, ho, ho. sound familiar? That was during part one. Part two from the 17th of July until the 30th of July. Not exactly 12 days, more like 13 days or 14 if you include the entire day. And that also lines up with part two, 17th to the 30th, which just leaves part three. Part three starts on the 30th at 5 p.m. PDT. So in a sense, it's going to be dropping on the 30th at reset. For me if you live across the pond it might be dropping on the 31st early morning for you or 31st in the afternoon if you live behind me like in hawaii or places like that then it would still be dropping on the 30th so this is when part three will start now this is further corroborated by these missions right here you might have noticed this the summertime dokkan weekly growth missions these missions are a set of individual like or five sets of missions that are going to carry us from the remainder of the eight-year anniversary into the kale trap dokkan festival banner we've noticed this because at the end of each part we earn two rainbow tickets so at the end of the week or basically once you complete all these missions which basically takes you three days because you got to do the turtle school roshi event three times which basically takes you three days so after three days you earn two rainbow tickets that was the first batch the second batch is currently ongoing you've probably already earned this maybe you have it so this will give you another two rainbow tickets but there's still three more of those sets of missions if we look at uh part three this gives us two more and that starts on the 30th at 5 p.m which just so happens to be one minute after the part two missions conclude 7 30 4 59 so it all lines up but notice how when we get to part four actually part five part three gives us rainbow tickets 
Part 4 gives us rainbow tickets, but then Part 5 does not. Part 5 gives us dragon stones. That's because at this point, we are past the eight year anniversary. So we also know the end date for this celebration, which is going to be 8 13, 4 59 p.m. PDT. So again, for me, that's my time zone, but August 13th slash August 14th, depending on where you live, is when the eight year anniversary is going to conclude. So not only do we know when part three starts, we know when part three will end from the 30th of July until the 13th of August. That is when the celebration will go on. And then at that point, the rainbow tickets will not be usable. The 77 special summon tickets will not be usable. I will be doing videos on those special summons when we get to that in part three. A lot of things will be coming to an end during the duration of the part three celebration. So keep that in the back of your mind. When that hits, we will then be exiting out of this and we'll be going into the Kale Dokkan Festival. And at that point, y'all should just be saving for Worldwide Download. At that point, we will probably even already know what's going to be happening in Worldwide Download. But now let's go over part three. So there are two dates to take note of in part three. So for JP, part three started on February 22nd. February 22nd at 6, 6 a.m. UTC. Time zone is irrelevant here. But that is when part three started. During this same time, we received a few pieces of content, or they received a few pieces of content. So on the 22nd, they got the easy area for the two free to plays. So that means Bobbity and Hercule will both be easy able during part three's very first hour or two hours. Then we also have the birth of the shadow dragons that drops right as the start of this part three begins. The final stage is going to be stage seven against Sin Shenron. JP just received stage eight, which is apparently even tougher, but Trust me, global players, we are in for the fight of our lives with this stage seven. This is apparently really, really, really tough. So by the time we get to this, hopefully you guys will have used some of your rainbow tickets. Maybe you're able to pull the Spirit Bomb Z, the Spirit Bomb GT, because you're going to need all the help that you could possibly get for that event. The Spirit Bomb event for the Kid Buu and the Omega Shenron will be coming back as well with more extra missions. So we originally were not able to complete all the missions, although I did make my videos centered around completing everything here. So if you were able to clear all these missions, that's good, but you're going to have to do it again once part three actually starts, because I believe some of these have not yet dropped, like the Terrifying Conquerors one, the Clearing Within Four Turns one. I don't think these have dropped yet. I think everything else has so far on Global, but these will drop during part three. So those will be what kind of keep you busy for that one. Shouldn't be as difficult. We've got Chain Battle against uh, Vegeta Nappa. For this one, ironically, you do need the part two units more so than the part ones. You don't even need the part ones whatsoever. Uh, to sum up, though, you basically need base Goku slash Kaioken Goku on the super side. And for the extreme side, you need first form Frieza slash Golden Frieza. So if you guys have some of those characters, get ready to use them a lot during chain battle. I will do a more further in detail explanation of that when we actually get to that event. And then, of course, the five-year LREZAs. The five-year LREZAs are going to be dropping two days after part three begins. So again, assuming part three starts July 30th, then the EZAs for Vegeta and or the Vegito and the Gogeta will take place on August 1st, August 1st slash August 2nd. But on the 30th itself, everything else will start. So if you are wondering when will the blue fusions drop two days afterwards, hopefully some of you guys can commit that to memory. If you can't, I'm sure I will let you guys know repeatedly on live streams and comment sections. There you have it. We're done. Quick rundown of stones, 33, 33, 66, plus 20, 86, plus, I don't know, like five, 10. How many, how many missions are we getting here? Uh, four dragon stones, seven, 14. Okay. So we're at uh, 90, what is that? 86. Uh, plus that's 100. Okay, so we're at 100 Dragon Stones. Plus this one, I think that gives us like five. Uh, that gives us six. Okay, six. Oh, plus this 11. Okay, so at 111 Dragon Stones, 111 plus like 10 from this 121. Plus these, that gives us uh, 18 more. So 139, over 130 stones. You're going to be getting at least just from the events alone during part three not even factoring in the special missions or the login and all that stuff so a lot of good stuff coming up still so there is still hope for those of you who might be completely depleted on stones to save up for the next major celebration that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like down below let me know in the comments if you guys are excited as i am for part three with the five-year lr easy is dropping which unit are you most specifically more excited for the vegeto or the gogeta and let me know how your summons went in the comments down below also be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future and Click the notification bell so that you'll be sure you know, going to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll return to Dokkan responsibly.